<laughs> well, thanks a lot, fellas. And how about that showdown series in San Francisco? The one between the Giants and the Atlanta Braves. We're happy to be here. Bang, bang, bang. The Braves, in the shadow of the Giants' seven-and-a-half game lead, are all set to play three games at Candlestick. And you know, it had all the feel of the playoffs. It's been something that's being built up by fans and media for probably about the last two weeks now. So uh, we're kind of, I don't know, about tired of hearing it, and the Braves probably are too. Hey, it's a big series. We all know that. Um, a chance for them to hack away at our lead, a, a chance for us to put a little padding on it. Braves got to win it, plain and simple. Uh, you know, if we can sweep, we're back in it. If not, we're going to keep on plugging away. But, I mean, this is what it's all about. This is the pennant race right here. Right now, the town's excited. We're breaking our tennis record tonight, so this is a big night for, for all of us. All we need now is victory. Fly in right field, base hit, a run will score. Pendleton is in, Justice pedals for third. He'll make it without a throw. And Barry Hill does it again, and the Braves get one and have a chance to get some more. Fly ball, center field. That'll be deep enough to score a run. Carry on goes back, makes the catch, and here comes Justice. He'll score easily. It's two to nothing. Lemke does his job. Barry Hill had to stay at first, but the Braves put a deuce on the board here as Avery bats in the second. There's a drive to deep right field. Back goes McGee to the wall. He can't make the catch. Here comes Barry Hill. He will score. Avery is at second with a double. He just missed getting it out of here, and it's three to nothing. And Steve Avery was also a rock on the mound, silencing the heart of the Giants' order while holding a one-run lead going into the bottom of the eighth inning. Now, this first game of the series was the most important for the Braves, and Avery came through in great style. He retired the last nine batters he would have to face. as they win the first of a three-game set. Final score, five to three. Atlanta now six and a half behind San Francisco. Avery's been very tough, not only against us, but against other ball clubs. And uh, he went out and showed it tonight. Went the distance for a young guy. He's got as much composure as anybody, yeah. as well as his stuff. So good ball game from him. When you get a guy that throws against you like that, sometimes you just got to tip your hat and forget about it, come back out the next day. There's a drive into deep right center field. Back goes McGee to the wall. It's gone. A line drive homer for Gant is 31st of the year, and the Braves again break out on top. I think it's good in any ball game you play to get the lead first. <laughs> That's how we won the last two years. We scored first, and we held them. And who better to hold on to a lead than Atlanta ace Tom Glavin, who pitched seven strong innings, and he'd pick up the win. He got him. Got him with a curveball. We're finally in a situation where we can help ourselves, uh, and that's the situation I think you want to be in when you're the team that's pursuing somebody. Uh, you know, for the last month or so, we've been playing great baseball, but every day we've got to look at the scoreboard and see if somebody else has given us some help, and uh, most nights that hasn't happened. McGee down at second, McMichael comes set. And the one-two pitch to Robbie Thompson struck him out, and the Braves have moved to within five and a half for the first time since June 8th. 6-4, your final. Well, the Giants had lost the first two games of the series, but things only got worse for San Francisco when game three finally got underway. High in the air, deep to left center field. Bonds going back, looking up. This one's deep into the seats. Long home run for Fred McGriff. Now David Justice. And he drives one deep to right field. This one's going to be out of here. 3-0 Atlanta. Braves are going up there looking for something in the strike zone on the first pitch. They're getting it, and they're not missing it. And not missing a beat was Greg Maddox, who held the Giants hitless for the first five innings. And he showed some cat-like reflexes. Line, and he caught it. Boy, oh and it was another day of good pitching and good hitting as Fred and Dave struck again. Deep to right center field. It ain't going to hold that one. He's got two. Bray's got a five to nothing lead. Back to back solo shots. Justice and McGriff have done it again. And it's six to nothing. We got some guys that can really swing the bat. And uh, 
you know, if, uh, if you're not aggressive up there, then you're going to get left behind by some of the guys on our team. So, you know, it's like a competition up there. We're going up there and, uh, you know, seeing who can have the best day. And uh, so far, just about everybody's having good days. That's what you call a complete...